Hello, let's talk about curly brackets. Curly brackets is an orientation in Google Sheets and give, it gives us so much power, especially when you use it with other formulas inside. Uh, but in our case, we all only use uh, these curly brackets to combine ranges. For instance, you have multiple rows of data and you want to bring that, them one below another. Uh, for instance, in column A you have 1, 2, 3, in column B you have uh, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, and so forth, and you want to bring them together. Uh, in some ways, one behind another, one side another, uh, to the right, or so forth, or combine, and this all is easily with just these curly brackets. Uh, for instance, some may ask how to combine data from multiple sheets, multiple tabs, if I had uh, tab 1, tab 2, tab 3, and so forth. The answer is use these uh, curly brackets. So uh, they're like not a formula, I don't know what it is, because it's just open and closing uh, uh, curly brackets, and that's it, that's all. So I'll pause the video and uh, give some data. Uh, okay, now I think I'm ready, but I also want to add a banana here. So I'll just use an image uh, formula to add banana just to test if it will work. I will create an image formula and I'll put uh, the URL to this banana so you can see it on screen right now. So this is like default behavior. We also, uh, here we have a sparkline formula sparkline and with these color brackets so i already used it one two three but also this is for a purpose i want to know if this sparkline will work so i want to know if everything some objects uh, some dates some text maybe two text if all of this will work so let me go ahead and uh, do color brackets then i use uh, semicolon and I just added this space just uh, to make the formula more beautiful and also I'll add this and hit enter and now you see this beautiful array uh, brings me uh, this one two three four and this one two three four five rows of data and it brings me it together and what if I want to, to do it from A to B say like this Oh no, it doesn't work. So uh, my arrays must must have the same uh, number of columns because I put this uh, one behind another. So I'll add D here too. And now it works. So the result works just the same as it was. But uh, now we have also empty values here produced by this array. And one bad thing, if I enter something about this, I'll get this refer and it says uh, I must delete this value from F4 next from F7 just to make this happen again. And next, uh, let's say we have the same number of rows here and here, and I will want to uh, put these values uh, just one uh, near another A1, A5, and C1, let it be C5. Okay, but now I need to use comma. Yes, and they work together like this. So I'll double my data. And now I want also to put these and these. But in reverse order, let it be just for to beautify things. Next, I continue my formula and also semicolon, which means next it will be behind. So I'll have both of them, uh, but I want them in reverse order. Let it be like this, comma, and like this one. Yes, it works like this too. And I also can do with the same array. I can repeat the same array twice. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It works with everything you give it. And even one secret, even if I do some formula here, it also will work. For instance, if I'll get a sequence of five numbers, it will give me a sequence of five just in this place. Isn't it beautiful? It's very beautiful. So, what have you learned so far? I've made my face uh, bigger on the screen just to show my emo emotions about uh, all that. So, we've, we've just used just these color brackets, opening and closing, and all this works. And it's, it's like 
it's like a magic. Uh, by the way, what if we do a semicolon first and then comma? Let's try it. Let's delete it and try it again. Let's see. What if I do this? Uh, call the brackets or call it, I don't know how, call it somehow. Uh, let it be this and next after this I'll, I'll call this. So this goes one behind another and it works as we know. But what if then I want to make close to it two other things which are of the same, quite the same size, like this one. You see, it doesn't work. So we must be in the correct order. So rows go first and columns goes uh, next. So uh, what I mean, one row after another. A next to E will B and then Second row, so this row was made first, and next row by row. I, I do C, comma, comma, D, and I guess I can continue. Uh, so also put something here, like 1, comma, 2, and close my formula. Oh, it's not a formula yet. I'll fix it. Yes, and it works. And that's it. So hope you like the video, and see you soon.